Unit 12, page 76. Conversation. Hey, you're late. I've been here for half an hour. I've just bought a new cell phone. Look, it's the latest 4G. Wow, I've heard it's really fast. Yeah, it takes only a few seconds to download a movie. I've already downloaded two. And you can play games online, right? Yeah, and it's a TV with over a hundred channels. That's fantastic. Oh, and it has a 12 megapixel camera? And two hours of video with sound. I read that you can pay for things with it as well? Yes, it's like a credit card. I've already used it twice since I left the store. Amazing. So what's the actual phone like? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't used the phone yet. I've been too busy using all the other functions. Unit 12, page 76, Language Box. I've been here for half an hour. She's been there since 10.30 a.m. He's just bought a new phone. We've already downloaded some movies. He hasn't made a call yet. Unit 12, page 77, Exchange. Hey, that digital camera looks good. Is it new? Yes, I've only had it since last week. Have you used it a lot yet? Sure, I've already taken lots of pictures. Good for you. Is it easy to use? Of course. You turn it on like this, and then, oh no. What's wrong? I think the battery's dead. Unit 12, page 115. Pronunciation. The paper's just jammed in John's printer. Haven't you used your new computer yet? Has Henry had a high-definition TV? Unit 12, page 79. Listening. Claire, you've managed a very successful recycling business here in Austin for three years now. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And you've just won an environmental award for all your work. Yes, I have. That was a surprise. So, can you tell me about your business? Sure. I collect old cell phones. I check that they work, reprogram them, and clean them. And then I sell them so people in other countries can use them again. That's great. So you're making money and helping the planet. Yes. People in the U.S. throw away over 110 million cell phones every year. Every old cell phone that someone reuses helps to save the planet's resources. How many phones have you collected since you started your business? Oh, I guess I've collected around 50,000. Wow. And where do you get all the phones from? Government departments and large companies that replace their cell phones often. They're happy to get rid of them. And you've just started to collect from schools and colleges too, haven't you? Yes, around 100 schools have already agreed to have special collection bins. Kids throw their old phone into the bin, and every two weeks I go and collect them. Good idea. So, do you get all these phones for free? No, I pay around $10 for each phone I can use. And where do you sell them? I mean, who wants an old cell phone? Are you kidding? There's a huge demand for old cell phones, especially in Africa. New ones are too expensive. I've just sent 20,000 to Nigeria, for example. Wow. How much do you charge for each phone? Around $20 is an average price, although I charge more for newer phones. So you're making big money. Have you made a million dollars yet? Not yet, but I've already got three offices, and I'm expanding all the time, so I will soon. Unit 12, 
Page 80. Expansion Listening. I've had this for two weeks now, and it's absolutely amazing. It's really light, so it's easy to take with me when I travel. It's also very fast, and the battery lasts for about four hours, which is perfect for long journeys when I can't plug it in. The memory is huge, so there's no problem downloading a lot of games and music and stuff from the internet. I've already added a lot of extra software since I got it, and it's hardly used any space at all. I've just tried one of the games, and the graphics and sound are great. It's wireless, of course, which is useful because I surf the internet a lot when I'm traveling. It's quite small, too, so I can fit it in a bag easily. The only problem I've found is that it hasn't got a CD or DVD drive, so I can't listen to my favorite CDs. Oh, and it was very expensive. I'm not going to buy anything else for years. But in general, yeah, I'm very happy with it. Unit 12, page 81. Reading. Gadget World. Gadget World has the latest electronic gadgets at the best prices. Here's a selection of this month's hot offers. Control your stereo, DVD, TV, everything with your voice. For example, CD on turns on your stereo, selects the CD, and starts playing. Works up to 10 meters in any direction. Stores 30 commands. Perfect for couch potatoes and science fiction fans. $150. Reviews. This is fantastic. I've just bought one, and it's so cool. Mac. I've had mine for a month. It's fun when it works. Ian. This is a USB with a difference. It's a watch. Keep all your files with you wherever you go. 32 or 64 gigabyte versions available. $200. Reviews. I bought one for my boyfriend. It's better than carrying a normal USB because he never forgets it. Sue. I have one, but I haven't used it yet. I can't understand the instructions. Can you help me? Liam. Put your finger on this lock and your front door will open. High-tech fingerprint recognition like in the movies. And you don't have to cut your finger off to share. It can store up to 25 different fingerprints. $1,500. Reviews. It's expensive, but I love it. Since I bought this, my friends have all been so jealous. Joe. Review 4. Page 82. Speaking. Listen to the example. Then, make a group of three and take turns to choose a topic. Try to speak for as long as possible. Use the prompts to help you. Your classmates can ask you follow-up questions. Okay, well, it's changed a lot since I left high school. Um, first of all, I moved all the way across the country from California to New York. And then once there, I've moved several times here in New York. What do you do now? Well, I finished going to college uh, after high school. I attended university. And then I got a job. And then I've changed jobs as well several times since then. Has your income changed at all? Yeah, yes, it has, definitely. Um, each time I've changed jobs, I've managed to uh, earn a slightly higher salary. So um, each year, I've luckily made a little more money than the year before. And do you have any other responsibilities? Absolutely. I've married since high school. I've had a child. So I have a family now and a family to support. Um, so my life has definitely changed quite a bit. Review 4, page 83, listening check. 
Conversation 1. Where have you been? The exam started half an hour ago. Sorry I'm late. I was seeing the college doctor. Oh, aren't you feeling very well? No, I have a terrible headache. Well, maybe you should go home. I know, but what about the exam? Don't worry. I'll give you a grade based on your work in class. But I've studied very hard for this exam. I don't want to miss it. It's only an hour. Well, why don't you start now, and I'll give you an extra 30 Great. minutes to finish. thanks. Conversation 2. Hi, Nolan. Hey, where's the new TV? I thought you were going to buy one. I was, but there are so many, I couldn't decide which is best. So you haven't decided which one you want yet? No, the TV2X is cheaper, but the TV3i looks better. Well, why don't you get the TV3i? It's more reliable, I'm sure. Okay, maybe I'll go back and get it then. And what about the DVD recorder? You've wanted one for months. Yes, I know, but they're expensive. The cheapest is $200. I'll buy the DVD recorder for you. How's that? Great. Thanks, Claire. Let's go and get them now before the store closes. Breakthrough Plus, Level 2, Class Audio, by Miles Craven. Published by Macmillan Education, a division of Macmillan Publishers Limited. Copyright Macmillan Publishers Limited 2012.